Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you. We're looking at our next study on Nicodemus or Are You Born Again? And uh, let's come before the Lord. Dear God, we thank you for this day and we, for your goodness and love. And Father God, I just pray you breathe on this study, Lord. And I pray those who hear will be blessed and be encouraged, Lord, in your name. And come to know you as the Lord and Saviour, in your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. So, second point. Uh, we've looked at Nicodemus was religious. Second point, Nicodemus was seeking. Let's turn to John chapter 3, verse 2, in the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 2 I have to go to this sorry about this John chapter 3 verse 2 it says he came to Jesus at night and said Rabbi we know you are a teacher who has come from God for no one could perform the miraculous signs you were doing if God were not with him so he comes to the Lord Jesus at night and he comes to talk to the Lord Jesus but he came at night but he was seeking maybe you're the same you're seeking God but you're a little bit you're a little bit afraid you don't want your mates to know what you're doing so you, you go to the youth club a Christian youth club but you don't let your mates know about it you're secretly seeking Nicodemus was doing the same Now, let's turn to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews 11, verse 6. And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. What that's saying is, is that God is a personal being. He's a person. And it's not just about the intellect. It's about a person. And you, and you're getting to know a person. And, and it begins by believing and trusting that person. That's how you get to know them. It's like a friend or a girlfriend. Um, you can know all about them intellectually. But at the end of the day, you're never going to get to know them unless you believe and trust in them. Okay. And if you're going to seek God and you want your intellectual questions answered, at the end of the day, there comes a point where you've got to trust and you've got to have faith. It's not a blind faith. It's a faith based on evidence and reason. But it's a faith in a person, not in an argument, not in a logical construct or a scientific theorem or a mathematical formula. It's faith in a person. And so the person says, believe and you'll be saved. So if you believe, you'll be saved because the person will keep their promise. Okay, it's important to realise that <coughs> ultimately there comes a point when you've got to trust and believe. Okay, and I remember once uh, reading tons of philosophy, uh, the history of philosophy, the history of Western thought, uh, trying to understand God, trying to get close to Christianity, trying to understand the issues in Christianity and that. And it, and it came to me that ultimately I can't get into the kingdom of God purely by intellect. It comes to the point where I've got to really just trust that this person is faithful. And that they will be faithful to the word. And there comes a point when you've had your questions answered. You've read Christian books. You've listened to what Christians have said. But then there comes a point where you have to say, at the end of the day... If I'm going to know this God, I've got to trust this God. I've got to trust his word. And that's when you gain real knowledge. That's when you really realize there is a God. Because God becomes real to you in your experience. And yes, that you'll find there is an intellectual foundation to Christianity. There are evidences. And you can uh, prove Christianity in a, in, a, in a more formal, evidential way. But that can never save anybody ultimately it comes down to faith and you've got to believe that christ died on that cross for you uh, etc so please think about that if you're seeking god 
there comes a point when you've got to say, am I willing, will I trust him? And when you do, the door of knowledge will open to you, I promise. Okay, thank you for listening and take care.